going guys? You Auto Scotty here. Today we're talking about the Thermac Air Cleaner. This can be found on vehicles from the 60s all the way up to the 90s. You probably recognize this piece. It is called the Thermac Air Cleaner because that stands for Thermal Action Air Cleaner. So let's have a look at the pieces and we'll see why it's called the Thermal Action Air Cleaner. We have of course the cover here which comes off. We've got the air filter, just comes out like that. And then we have the snorkel. And on top of the snorkel, there is a vacuum motor. The vacuum motor is connected to a little trap door inside the snorkel, which opens and closes. It sounds like it could use some oil. This is actually, I, I cleaned this up a lot. It was in pretty rough shape. And I sanded it all down and painted it with some header, header paint. Looks real nice now. There's also a trap door underneath the snorkel, which opens and closes as well with, actually these two parts are connected together. This part here is designed, it's part of a, uh, an emissions control system called the EVE system or the early vapor emissions system. I'll have to double check on the acronym for that but anyways uh, the idea being that when you start your engine in the morning when it's really cold before your engines fully heated up you're polluting you're polluting a lot there's a lot of unburned fuel that's just kinda like going through your tailpipe the faster that your engine can come up the temperature the better your carburetor can vaporize the fuel and uh, fully burn the fuel. So that is sort of what this uh, part is trying to do, trying to accomplish. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, nowadays most of these uh, don't really work as they should. They're in sort of poor shape, but you can um, you can revive them. And anyways, we'll, we'll go through the pieces of this and see exactly how how this works. So um, stick around. Okay, let's have a closer look at this piece here. This is the uh, Thermac temperature control mechanism. It's essentially just a bimetallic strip that has a little valve here that opens and closes. And that will either apply or disengage the vacuum to well, through this vacuum line here to the vacuum motor, which is either going to close the snorkel or open the snorkel and it's sometimes it can be half open as well just depending on the temperature of the air after the air cleaner so so that is actually directly connected to your manifold vacuum and it so this little fitting here would go directly to your manifold vacuum so it's, it's you have constantly a, a, a vacuum applied to that. But depending on the temperature inside your air cleaner, this valve is either going to um, apply the vacuum to the to the vacuum motor or disengage it. When there's no vacuum applied to the vacuum motor, the snorkel the snorkel is open. So you're taking air from you know just from the from the inlet of the snorkel. When it's closed the trap door underneath here is open and is drawing air through or from the heat stove. Now this is the heat stove. This one is in poor shape as most of them are from vehicles from the 80s and 90s. Can be repaired. Um, I'll show you where this goes and, and how that works. Okay so the heat stove it's usually located on the passenger side of the engine and um, you can see where it used to be it used to be connected right here and right here the weld has broken off as well as some of the brackets but this this little part here is also part of the heat stove you can see there's some little tabs here that are left over from where the heat stove used to used to be, and uh, 
fits over the exhaust manifold like so. Uh, it's kind of hard to get in now just because it's all twisted up and such, but it used to sit right there over, over the exhaust manifold. There is, of course, a, a pipe that goes up beside the engine and collect, connects to the air cleaner. And when air is being drawn through that, uh, the heat stove, it is taking air that's circulating around this part of the exhaust manifold and, and you know, is obviously that's the part of the engine that gets the hottest, the quickest. So that is hot, drawing hot air through this thing into your intake and uh, show you what the, the hose looks like. It looks like this. And most of the time these are in pretty poor shape as well. But anyways, that's the idea here is that you know when when that trap door is, is closed, it's drawing heat through that that heat stove and drawing nice heat nice warm air into your carburetor, which allows your engine to vaporize the fuel a lot more efficiently means you get less emissions so it's you can vaporize the fuel the fuel earlier which is why it's called the early um, evaporations emissions I think that's what it's called but anyways that's how that works fairly interesting uh, I doubt that I'm gonna be able to utilize that still in my motorhome. I'm going to have to figure out a way to reattach this. If you understand the general concept behind the operation of this and what it's trying to do, then uh, you should be able to diagnose uh, most problems that you're having. Sometimes this little temperature sensor can malfunction. Sometimes if you got a sticky vacuum, um, vacuum motor that can cause issues or maybe you've got a break in the vacuum line Perhaps, like me, you've got a heat stove that has just fallen right off. And what you'll notice is that when you start your, your vehicle up, your 80s or 90s Camaro or motorhome or whatever you have, whatever GM vehicle you have, you're going to notice that uh, the choke is stays on for quite a long time before you can kick it off. Um, so that is one of the symptoms that can happen. But anyways, guys. I just thought I'd do a quick video on this because I think it's interesting and stay tuned to the channel. We'll do some more videos on various emission systems from the 80s and 90s. Take care.